In this tutorial, we will learn how to combine the 3D body mesh and 2D body segmentation to get a really nice advanced segmentation for your fashion lenses. Now, if your clothing is something like a sweatshirt that covers the body, then this tutorial is not very applicable to you. But if you have something where the body is in front of the outfit, maybe you have a portion up um, behind the torso, maybe it's a skirt and it's kind of open in front and you got the legs in front and then the back of the skirt behind, then this tutorial will be very much applicable to you. Okay, so I'm here in Blender. Feel free to use whatever software you want. And I've imported the 3D body mesh uh, from the Lens Studio website. And I've modeled this really simple dress around it. Um, it's nothing fancy. I'm not a fashion designer. This is just for the tutorial. So once I have my dress made, I went ahead and exported it and I imported it into Lens Studio. Uh, so let's go ahead and add it to our scene. I'm going to first switch the preview to something that's a little better for the fashion. Let's just go with skeletal so we get some simple motion. Let's make that a little bigger for now. And I'm going to add some 3D body tracking. So object tracking 3D, full body tracking. And then I want to go ahead and add my dress to that. And um, it should match up pretty well with the, um, with the body mesh. We can see it here. Um, we don't have the material, so I'm just going to go ahead and import from the asset library. There's this nice leather material I'm going to use. So I'll import that, keep it just a minute to finish. And once it's done, I can close this out. Let's look this and let's add my material. And now, uh, since I have this dress with kind of like the two different sides, I want to select my material and make sure two-sided is selected. Since I can see everything, I know it already is, but if you're making your own material, you might need to do two-sided. All right, so I have my outfit in here, this little dress, but it's obviously blocking the person. So there are a couple ways we can get around this. Uh, first, we're gonna look at the body depth texture. So in the resources panel, I'm going to come in here and I'm gonna scroll down and find body depth texture. I'll add that. Now, if I select my camera, I can come to the depth clear option, choose custom texture, and then on this input, I'm going to choose that body depth texture. And now it is going to uh, do a very good job of putting the person in front of the dress. Uh, now you can see that uh, between the legs, we're kind of losing the dress a little bit, and we have this uh, kind of hard border around everything. Uh, so uh, especially around the neck, you can see it. Uh, so often this might be good enough for the lens you're working on. Um, and so feel free to try this first because it's super easy. Uh, now, in my case, um, I don't like this outline just because of the way the dress is so much behind the person. So I'm going to use an alternative method that um, won't fully get rid of the line, but it will soften it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and clear this depth input and go back to custom value. And let's get started. So the first thing I'm going to do is create a few additional render targets. So here in the resources panel, I'm going to create two new ones. So this first one, I'm going to rename to outfits only. And the second one is going to be outfit and body. So what we're going to do is we're going to use the built-in body mesh, which tracks in 3D, uh, but doesn't give great occlusion results and combine it with the 2D segmentation, which gives a much better outline of the body. Uh, so to see that, let's go ahead and um, add the 3D body mesh to our scene. So in the objects panel, I'm gonna come up here and I'm going to find the body mesh, the full body mesh. And let's go ahead and add this. And before we start setting things up, um, let's actually see how well this occludes on its own. So I've already added the 3D body tracking and so the second one is tracking the second body, which is an index of one. So let's put that to zero. And then I'm going to select my full body mesh down here and also put that body index to zero. So you can see it tracking the body. And if we want to use that to kind of mask the dress around the person, let's add a new material. Let's choose occluder. And on the body mesh, let's switch that over. And you can see we get a similar result to using that body depth texture, but it's not quite as good. Uh, you can see it's uh, almost laggy if there's more motion and we get kind of that bad outline. You can see that um, 
his abdomen is kind of cut in from the body mesh. And then the legs aren't occluded great along with the arms. Uh, so some lenses, the body occluder works great. It's simple and easy, but with this big portion behind the user, we want something a little bit better. So we are going to um, include the 2D segmentation. All right, so to do this, we are going to use a few different layers. So I'm gonna select this camera and I'm going to rename it to outfit cam. And I'm going to change the render target to the outfit only. And then I also want to change my scene config, the live target to outfit only. So we can see what we have going on. So uh, let's make sure our camera selected. I'm going to create a new layer. So let's add a new layer. We're going to take the camera off the default layer, put on this new layer. We'll call this outfit layer. And then we're going to the outfit only. Now, if I select my outfit, I can switch this to that layer. Now I have just the outfit, not the body mesh. So we're blocking the user, but this is what we want for this particular um, render target. All right, so let's create a new camera. Uh, so I'm going to click off of everything and let's create a camera. So make sure it's kind of like at the scene root. You don't want it nested in, under another camera. If it does end up nested, just move it out. Uh, make sure that the position rotation scale are all good. And I'm just going to move this above the lighting. Just keep it next to the other camera. And let's rename this outfit body cam. And we're going to change the render target to outfit and body. So let's come to our scene config. Let's change our live target to outfit and body. And here we're going to want to see our outfit and our body mesh, uh, but we aren't going to include it. We're going to give it a material. Uh, but first let's get these layers set up. So with my camera selected, I'm going to take it off the default layer and I'm going to add a new layer for the body mesh. So we'll just call this body layer. And I want this camera to get both the outfit and the body. All right, so we have our outfit here. Now let's get our body on there. So I'm going to select the body mesh. I want to put it on the body layer and it's here, but I want to turn off the occlusion. I actually want just a flat color. So in the resources, I'm going to come in here, add a new unlit material. Once that adds, I'm going to put that on my body mesh. I'm just going to stick with the default of white. Uh, if your dress or outfit or whatever, it has a lot of white in it go ahead and change this color uh, to something that is not in your outfit. Uh, and then once you have that done, select your camera, you're gonna change the clear color option to color, and we just want it black. All right, so, so far, uh, we've set up a couple cameras, render targets. One render target gives us our outfit and the body mesh. The other is gonna give us just our outfit. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this outfit and um, body and create a mask. So we're going to use this to kind of block out where the body should be covered and create just a plain black and white mask that we can use elsewhere. So let's start with that. And then we can come in and um, clean up the edges with our 2D segmentation. So I'm going to switch back to the resources panel for just a moment, and I'm going to add a new screen image. And that will create a new orthographic camera. Uh, so my scene config, before I left, I should switch back to the render target. Now let's come back to resources. I'm going to call this um, the composite. All right, and then I'll change that to stretch. And then I want a new graph empty material. And let's also call this, um, let's call it composite material. And we want to set that material on this screen image. So let's drag that over and we should get uh, just kind of a blank. And that is perfect. Uh, so in the resources panel, let's add our segmentation. Uh, let's scroll the right way. So we want segmentation texture and we want full body. So let's select that and let's open up our material in the graph editor. So with your material selected, click on graph editor. 
and then make sure you're here. Uh, sometimes you might open up to different material, so make sure you have just this little thing here. All right, so what do we want to do here? Uh, we want to take our outfit and body. We want to threshold that to get just black and white. And then we're going to combine that with the segmentation to create a mask to figure out if we should show the person or the outfit. Uh, so we're going to need some input textures. So I'm going to right click and add nodes, or you can click the plus button here. I want a texture 2D parameter. I'm going to call this base. This is kind of like the base image with no outfits or 3D objects or anything. I'm going to control C, control V to copy that. We'll call this outfit. Uh, we'll copy that again. We're going to call this one segmentation. And then we're going to copy that one last time. And we'll call this one the outfit and body. So just outfit body. So let's start with this outfit body. So I'm going to connect that to uh, the output. And once we do that, we'll now get an input slot over here. So I'm going to select this. And I want the outfit and body texture. All right. So we want the body here to become white, everything else to go black. And that's going to be our mask. White will show through, black will be hidden. So this is really simple. I'm going to add a new node. I want an equal, is equal. And if this is equal to the color white, then we'll keep it as white. Otherwise, we'll display it as a different color. Now, if you had to change the color here because your outfit was white, uh, just update the colors here accordingly. So make sure that this color matches whatever you used on your unlit material. So once we have that, uh, we want an if else. So if that's true, let's change this to RGB. If it is white, we'll keep it white. Otherwise, it will be black. Now, if we plug this in, we're going to get this nice mask. So this is showing just where that um, 3D body mesh is. All right, so let's make a little bit of space. And now we're going to combine that with our segmentation texture. So what we're going to do is we're going to multiply the segmentation texture with this mask we just created. So if I connect that, I'll now have an input slot for my segmentation. So I'll select that. And now it's not going to look very different. The only difference you might notice is on some of the edges, uh, you might see some feathering. So for purposes of this multiply, if it's the color black, it's zero. If it's the color white, it's one. So this will only be white where both our body mesh from this mask and the 2D segmentation are overlapping. So, so far, nothing very cool is going on. It's still this kind of bad mask. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of inflate this body mesh to make it a little larger so that our 2D segmentation can come in and cut it up. So I'm going to head back to my 3D software blender and I imported this 3D body mesh to kind of model around. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to combine these uh, individual pieces. So I'm going to select the hands, the head, body. I'm going to join them together into a single mesh. Uh, you'll get a few duplicate vertices. Uh, so if you want, you can merge to get rid of those. And uh, I'm going to now uh, just kind of inflate this and make it a little larger. Um, so you probably want to do that uh, via sculpting, whatever software you use. So I just want to inflate. And I'm going to really work on the hands on those to inflated. Uh, you'll see in a minute why I want them to be kind of so big. It doesn't need to be perfect. Just make it a bit bigger.
Okay, so I've gone through and I've sculpted this. I've kind of inflated the whole thing so this body looks really swollen. Um, you want to make sure you don't kind of cut through your outfit. So how you do this will depend on your outfit and where it is and what should remain hidden or not. Um, you can inflate these arms just a little bit more. Now you do want this to be exaggerated. Uh, so once you've done that, uh, go ahead and export that as an FBX file. Now, so I'm going to go ahead and bring in the rig with it. Uh, so export that and then import it into Lens Studio. All right, so I've imported that new body mesh. I'm going to switch my uh, render target to the outfit and body camera just for a second. So we can see it. So there's a default body mesh. Now we selected body mesh. We could choose the external mesh. Um, I don't always like the way this works. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to delete this body mesh. I'm going to bring my custom one into the same body tracking. Uh, so once I do that, I'm going to select the body tracking. I want to match the hierarchy. So I'll select those hips. And then I'll select this and give it my unlit material. And it should be showing up. So let's check our scene. Oh, we forgot to change the layer. Make sure you put it on the right layer. All right, and so there is our really inflated mesh. Um, now there's it's like, just I inflated it poorly, so there's some gaps. So I'm gonna select the unlit material, go to two-sided. That should help clear up those gaps. Okay, uh, so we have this, it's really chunky and bad looking, but if we come back to our render target, look at our new kind of segmentation mask. It matches the body much better. Now you can see I may be overinflated here in the hips. Um, it's starting to show through my dress a little bit. Uh, so I'll just hop into my 3D software and clean that up a little bit really quick. All right, so I went in and I updated that body mesh in my 3D software and now you can see we're not going through the dress. And so we get this uh, much cleaner outline. So we're taking this kind of overinflated body mesh and then chopping it down to size with the 2D body segmentation, which is much better at matching the proportions of the body. Now I still have some kind of rough edges around this, um, but let's go ahead and just move forward so we can see the final result. So back in the material editor, now we have our mask. And so what we need to do is now display either the outfit or the person correctly. So I'm going to take this base. I want to mix it uh, with the outfit using this mask we just created. Let's drag this over. Let's hook up our mask here. Go to the output. Now, if I select my composite material, my base in this case will just be the device camera texture. My outfit will be the outfit only. And you can see it is um, reversed. So just come over here and let's swap these two. And there we go, there is our new segmentation. So you can see we still kind of have this outline that's just unavoidable, but it is a little smoother, it's less jarring. And around the head especially, we're doing much better. And since we inflated that, um, we can also much better handle someone's hair if their hair kind of sticks out from the head more. Uh, so we're not perfect around the hands, um, but we can make those hands a little larger in our body mesh get a much better result. Uh, but overall, I would say that this segmentation is much better than just the body mesh alone. Uh, we aren't cutting off the legs, we aren't cutting into the torso, we're cutting out the head really well. The hands will just always be problematic, uh, but overall this is a really nice result we can get for our segmentation.